I'm with uh, Alison Fine, who is author of the uh, non the network non-profit at the uh, Third Sector Social Media Conference here. And we've just had a great presentation from Alison, bringing some insights from the US. Um, what do you think we should look at in the US and what should we maybe be a little bit wary about importing? So I, th I think the breaking down of the silos, as Steve Bridger was talking about after I spoke, is so huge. We have uh, artificially created functional areas within organizations, accounting and communications and development. And it was just an idea somebody had some time ago of how to organize work. I, have to, I think we have to reorganize work and really focus on everyone's job as relationship building uh, within the organization. In terms of what not to bring over, I think uh, over planning is a mistake that we make in the States, and um, I think uh, over measuring uh, as well, or what I call malmeasurement of using the wrong measures. Particularly with social media, people are going to need patience. It takes time to build relationships and build networks, but over that time, they will see great benefits to doing it. And one of your very strong metaphors in the book and uh, your talk is about organizations taking down the walls, organizations yes. and fortresses. Yes. And the whole book is about kind of turning organizations inside out. That's it? exactly right. Uh, when you start to work with, like a social network, when you're immersed in social media, the walls fall, whether organizational leaders want, it, want them to or not. And that notion, Dave, as you mentioned, of fortresses is so powerful to people because we all have that feeling of having been inside an organization that wouldn't let us out. And uh, social media is changing all of that. And you also uh, talk about uh, pre-agents, which yeah. I identify um, as. And I, I asked um, the question everybody else asks is, well, great to have these new roles connecting people up, uh, being a little bit provocative, campaigning. Uh, can you get paid to do that kind of stuff? So it's very difficult, as you know. People play a lot, of, a lot of roles when they're genuine free agents. So, for instance, Beth is an amazing blogger. She doesn't get paid to blog. Uh, she gets paid to do workshops and to consult with organizations. Uh, the other thing is that organizations are beginning to take free agents in within the organization. They bring their network with them. Whether they'll stay for a while within organizations, we don't know. What we do know is that networks are filled with really smart, capable people, and organizations are charged with finding and connecting with them. And just finally, we're in a very tough financial situation right. over here. Um, how can you be hopeful in that situation? How can you be optimistic? How can you innovate? Uh, because you have to. So you have to be hopeful, otherwise uh, the alternative isn't great. I think that if you look at the world as a network place, uh, it looks much less frightening than it does if you look at it through a scarcity lens. And the scarcity lens, when you're inside the fortress, says there's only one way to raise money or our source of funding is reduced. And when you look at the world as a network filled with other organizations and people of goodwill who want to help, you automatically feel more hopeful. So being uh, practicing, being a good sharer, giving credit, connecting with people, building relationships is a more human way of working and actually feels better. So sharing is the way to survive. Sharing is it. It's just it. <laughs>